Welcome back to our Yammer uh, video in Office 365 series. <clears throat> so we, in the last video, we configured Yammer and saw how chain make changes made here uh, go live on this web page, like on our Yammer page. Uh, Alright, so I just thought that maybe they should have like the they are going by the domains in Yammer. Maybe we could just use the name, but that will be too conflicting with other. So let's go. We saw the configuration. We already saw the design and page in the first. So now admin. So it's a uh, current admin is me. You can add additional admins. It's a very simple thing. Bill, Bill should no. Nope. Bill is not showing up. Aslan, only Ali and okay. Why only Ali is showing up? I can put Ali as load so you get the idea Ali make this user an admin and you can submit can we add even more get ver grant verified admin you can grant him access Aslan no I only one all right so it's been it could be because Ali is already an admin in exchange and he has been admin on what else I made him admin somewhere else I made him admin and that's why he's appearing here I think he was admin on Skype I believe or whatever Th this is how you um, add admins for Yammer usage policy let's see what it is oh the policy so basically what happens is that uh, user has to accept your policy and then they can join your Yammer. So you have to post your policy here. And if you make any changes, this then uh, they, they are given the new policy again and they have to accept it. Uh, display policy reminder in sidebar. And the second option is that they, it will con continuously bug them about this policy <coughs> in the sidebar. So this is acceptable use policy and you type it in and you can add a URL that is about your <coughs> networks uh, uh, brow browser policy within your company. So it's like uh, basically the link says what you can do on the computer while you're on company's property. So and you can save it and it's going to be saved very easy. The next one is external networks. So you, they can create an external networks that has nothing to do with the um, charter. And, oh, for or I'm saying charter <laughs> with your uh, organization. Uh, I was thinking about my because my name is charter right here. And only admins or can the, your user members they can create external networks or only admin can create an uh, external network so <clears throat> it says required if this one is checked it is required an approval for charter member anybody who is member of my organization to join other companies external network so it's like um, reaching out in teams you can actually add people as guest and like they belong to other networks and uh, or other organization and you just add them as a um, guest so they can actually view uh, your stuff whatever the whatever group you have invited them so it says that it, what do you want your user if they want to go and get into somebody else network do you want their approval uh, get the admin approval disable the related external network directly so basically it's uh, a social networking everything is about you and then there is a say hey these groups are exactly like yours or similar to you 
disable the our external network directory and move the external network links in the network menu so if you have other networks uh, external networks we should see what external network look like um, suggested group marketing zero member sales these are mine probably and I where where they are coming from from what is the group and marketing zero members it's a suggestion suggested group <coughs> company resources we can add here but what are the so these are the thing what else and recommended for you marketing group I just added that right and who belong it belongs to me I it was just like auto created I believe create a group discover more groups you are definitely in the right place create a group all groups okay so right now I don't see that uh, external groups can we create an external internal group okay external group is like uh, uh, people from your company and other company people they can come and hang out there or post or whatever internal group only the people within your organization within your company they can get that even as a uh, public access is anyone in this network like in your organization only member like only member can view what's being posted there these are the two options so that's the external work and all right so that's the external external networks and these settings are important and but you will not be defining them as an admin it will be defined by the company organizations like uh, policy makers how they want it so network migration migrate other yammer networks into this network for example two companies merger merge and they want to combine their networks or you had like two networks at different locations like different divisions and they had different name and uh, different um, <coughs> um, domains and they merge together but it says more domains so you have to so you have to basically add them into alpha 365 i showed you uh in in here in domains they have to be verified and then they can be uh joined or you know more mi migrated into each other and you see so if there is none because whatever i have i had only one domain it's automatically detecting it and saying none here so if there were other more i could select it and click next and they will be migrated i'm gonna wrap up this video here it's it's short sweet eight minutes because this uh, start a new section and i want to you know create separate videos for separate uh, section so if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and you have a good night